Good morning. We are going to paint a pineapple today. I'm so glad you're going to join us and I would love to see your pictures of your finished product when you're done. This is such an exciting program that the library can offer for you and I hope you really enjoy it. My name is Susie and I can be reached at Art and Around if you have any questions or run into any problems. Send me an email and I'll answer your questions. Today your kit includes one canvas board with a pineapple drawing and a big brush like this. Let me get it closer. There you go. And one round brush that looks like this. Let's see if I can put my hand. There you go. Get it in the light. Okay, so you have the two brushes and then you have lots of colors. So what you'll need to get is you'll need to get a plate to put your colors on and some paper towels and a cup of water. And then we'll be ready to get started. So you could go ahead and po uh, pause your video until you're all set up and ready to go. And when you come back, we'll start our beautiful pineapple. All right. So I don't know if you can see this background really good or not, so I'm gonna bring it closer. But look at the three colors in that background. The background is a multitude of color with three colors. So watch this. You're going to take this larger brush, the flat one, and you're going to get it wet and wipe off the extra water. And then you're going to grab some of your, oh, I didn't put the lime green on there. Let me get the lime green. Okay, so you're going to grab some of your parchment, which looks like linen, tan, and some of your bright green, and then take a little bit of white. So I have three colors on the brush. Let's see where the good light is so you can really see that. Three colors. And now I'm going to come in and I'm going to just start dabbing it on like this. And then when I get close to the leaves, I'll give a little bit of an outline. And then I'm going to reload lime green, parchment, and white. And I'm going to come back in and I'm going to slip slap those colors just like that around. Now I am going to try and not over blend, but I don't want it too rough because it's not supposed to be textured. So I'm going to soften it here and there. All right, load my brush again, and I'm gonna kind of just go along the edge of this pineapple, and then take the excess off. It's okay if you get a little bit on the pineapple because we'll go over it. So loading all three colors, bringing it right to it, slip slapping it on, and you'll see that we're getting that nice background. All three colors, reload, and just keep applying. If you feel like one area is missing a color, you can always just pick up that one color and go back in with it. I outline my leaves a little bit. If your brush gets dry, give it a little, little tiny bit of water, not too much. You'll know if you're too dry because you'll get these little white dots on the canvas and you don't want that. You want full coverage, lots of color all over that canvas. And you want to see all three colors. So 
So don't over mix. Make sure that you're not over mixing. You want to see the three different colors. Lots of strokes. Little tiny bit of water because white and the parchment tend to be a drier pigment. So you might need to wet your brush here and there. In between over here on the side, you've got just a little bit of, of uh, background that you need to get in there. So make sure you get those. A little variated color there. Good. Such a pretty pint painting. I really enjoyed this one. Um, you can do it in a multitude of colors also. You could use like say uh, magenta and white and a blue up in here on the background. Uh, and then you could change the colors of your pineapple. You don't have to do it like this one. You could do different colors. Whoops. All right, so my background is done. But what I wanna do now is I wanna really look at it. That light's a little too bright. Let's see if I can change it there. So I wanna see, uh, I got some rough spots here, so I'm just gonna flatten them a little bit. I don't want too, too much texture. A little bit of texture is good, but not too, too much. And then I'm gonna look and see if I have any areas that don't have enough of the um, colors showing through. And I feel like I have a good amount of all three colors. I'm not real happy with the lighting on this today, but hopefully you can see that. It's very pretty. All right. Wonderful. Now you're going to take that brush and you're going to clean it really good. Wipe out those colors. Wipe it and give it another little wash. And then just tap it on your towel like that. And then we're going to pick up another brush. If you need to pause and finish your background, please do so now. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to get a little bit of yellow. See the yellow in the center of the pineapple there? We're going to get that center of each little section with yellow. So I'm going to pick up yellow and I'm just going to come in and just get the very center of each little section. And it's no, no right or wrong, no, you know, don't worry about um, being neat because we're going to be going over the edges of this yellow and you, you're only going to see the very center part of that yellow. Doesn't take much. We do want this to be flat and no ridges. All right, I think I've got them all. Oops, is that a leaf? Oh, that's a leaf coming down. So that right there is part of the pineapple. Okay, so here's the original for you to look at. Good. Wonderful. All right, we don't even have to wash the brush. We're gonna go ahead and um, pick up a little bit of orange on this round brush on the ends. So uh, just about like that. And now we're gonna come in and you notice that I've just very unevenly gone around the edges of that yellow. There's no particular pattern. Don't stress over this. Don't make it perfect because it's very whimsical pineapple. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to start tap, tap, tap around the yellow, right on top of it. Pick up more when you need it.
I'll go back and smooth that one down. It got a little heavy. And don't worry about the lines because we're gonna be going back with lots of colors. This is just fun and relaxing. Put on some music and just really enjoy yourself. Super quick, easy painting. And one that you'll like to hang up or give away as a gift. There we go, and the orange is done. It's already starting to come together, and I'm loving it. All right, I'm gonna wash my brush now. This is still the round brush. And I'm gonna tap it on the towel, but not dry it completely, so it's still moist, but not um, full of orange. All right, so now we wanna separate these leaves. The leaves are a two-step process. First, we lay in a background where we have dark green with a little black added in it and then regular green. Then we let that dry while we finish the pineapple and we'll go back and lay on those bright, beautiful colors. All right, so I'm gonna take dark green, dark, dark green. And I'm first going to outline the whole leaf. Dark, dark green. Now, where the leaf is falling behind the leaf in front of it, I'm going to take that dirty green brush and I'm going to put a little bit of black in there. And watch this. I'm going to come in here and darken it right there and let it mix with that green. So the bottom half of that leaf is much darker. Now I'm going to move on and do another leaf. So I'll wipe off the black on my napkin, pick up green, and let's just base coat this one. Again, you wanna make sure you have full coverage, no little white dots showing. There we go, so it's base coated in dark green. And now I'm gonna pick up a little bit of black on my brush. And I'm going to darken this one, as you can see in this picture here, all at the base of it. So I'm gonna pull that black right into the green while it's wet so it mixes and make the base of it nice and dark. Maybe even a little bit more. There. Okay, you can still see where they separate, the two of them. I didn't quite make it as dark at the top. And now we have those two finished. Wipe off your black on your napkin, pick up your green, and just continue filling in the leaf. If you need a drop of water, get a little drop of water. We don't want those to be little white dots to be showing. And then my black. And look at your picture, you'll see where that one's dark. It's very little dark on this one because it's the most for, the one in the forefront, it's the brightest. So very little dark on this one. Just a little at the base. All right, wipe off the dark, go into your green. I'm really excited to see your pictures when you're finished. Uh, the last painting last month, I got to see some pictures of people's finished paintings, and that was so fun. All right, I'm just gonna keep going here. 
I hope that you um, are all starting now. And I'm getting a little bit of white dots. So I'm gonna take a drop of water and add it to that green. All right, so this one, I'm gonna do the dark right here where it's underneath those leaves in front. And that one I made a tiny bit darker. All right, back to green. Really helps you separate your leaves this way. Okay, a little bit of dark right there where it's touching. Wipe and go. Yeah, I try to make these paintings so that um, even super beginners can paint. Uh, people that aren't artists can still enjoy making a painting that they'll love the outcome of. So um, any feedback on, uh, do you feel that I've made it easy enough? Do you feel like it's easy enough to follow? It's always wonderful. So you see the dots I'm getting? I want you to see those little white dots in that leaf. See that? That tells me it's dry. It needs a little drop of water. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So on this one, right there that's standing up, you'll see in your uh, picture, your reference picture, right there at the base, see those darks coming up? That's what we're gonna go for. Always reference your picture. Okay, wipe off the dark. Keep going. Let's get all the base coat done. How'd you do guys? Everybody doing good? All right. Hopefully you've got all your leaves base coated in and you can see where I've added the black. And this one is always fun getting around this little point here in the middle. Around this one you want your darks. So now we're going to let that base coat dry and we're going to move on back to the pineapple. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pick up our round brush and a little bit of red. And if you notice, there's a shadow on uh, the orange. So it, right now we just have applied straight orange. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of red and I'm going to come in here and maybe a little bit of orange too with red. And I'm going to tap a little shadow here and there on each of those pineapple little squares. So a little red and a little orange, and I'm just gonna put a little shadow on one side of them, and all of them on different. They don't have to all be the same side. It's not like this is a light source. This is just to give them a little attitude. Our little fun. There we go. So I'm right on top of the orange. I'm not going out of the orange. I'm staying right in the orange. Your choice, how much you do. Everybody's a little different. Some people like to go bold and heavy. Some people like to go a little less. Just look at your pineapple, see if you love it.
There we go. The red is done. Starting to take shape. Okay. Wash your brush. Dry it on your napkin. And let's go back into the lime green. And I'm going to need more, so I'm going to get some more. I love this lime green. All right. Super easy. We're going to tap again. No stress. Have fun. Put the music on and just tap away. So I'm going to pick up the green on the end of the brush. And I'm going to come in here and I'm literally going to put my pinky on the canvas for balance. And I'm just going to tap outside the orange and red and it you know just keep picking up more paint and if it touches the red it's okay it's okay and just keep going try to keep your pencil lines you know you don't really want to lose those because those are going to be your reference for when we go back with the dark color um, but this lime green is pretty um, transparent you could see through it it's just opaque enough to be enough coverage, but transparent enough to see those lines. Does that make sense? Just have fun. Just tap away. You know, this is a fun painting you can even um, do with your kids or your grandkids. And, uh, you know, just make it a fun family night. Because you really can't get this one wrong. You really can't. We're almost done with that bright green. Whoops, I got ridges there. So when you get your ridges, you just go go on and get the rest of the paint off the brush and then go back and soften them. There we go. We've got bright green all over. I love it. Let's wash our brush. I'm going to go get clean water. You guys should get clean water too. All right. So now I'm going to take my dark green and a little bit of black, dark green and a little bit of black. And this time I'm using the same brush, but just the point, just the point. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna tap a skinny little line right over those pencil lines. And this is a little time consuming. So take your time and uh, you can pause the video. I'll pause it too. And we'll all come back and, and join back in and uh, just tap away and have fun. Only using the point.
Don't forget to do your outline on the outside of the pineapple also. Coming right down this edge here. Super tiny, so tiny, tiny. Notice I roll my brush and pull it. And if your brush gets too cluttered with paint, wash it and start over. If you're not getting nice little dots and nice little lines there, you can always just, sometimes when we do this tapping, the brush wants to like kind of get clotted up. So you can always just wash it and start re, uh, reapplying your paint. Yay! There we go. Mine's a little more whimsical than this one. This one's more perfect diagonals, but this one's a little bit more whimsical, which I love. All right, I'm going to wash my brush, tap it off, and then touch the towel. And now I'm going to come back and highlight my leaves. So I'm going to grab that lime green with that same round brush. And I'm going to come and I'm going to start at the points and I'm going to pull down, pull down. I'm, I'm pulling down and I'm letting the brush just wisp away, wisping away. So there's no um, pressure when at the back of the stroke and I let it lift off. So watch this. Start at the end and pull and let it go. Pull and let it go. Don't lose all your dark. That's important. Those darks that we put in there are very important. This front one can have a little bit more light because it's right in the front, this very front one. So the only bad thing about doing a video is I don't get to answer your questions if you have questions instead of doing it live. So um, feel free to ask me questions. You could send me an email or uh, you could send it to the library and they'll, they'll send it, uh, forward it to me and I can help you. What are you thinking, guys? How's it looking? It's a very light, light stroke. Very light. I'm keeping those darks. Okay, now this one in the very center. I'm going to go very tiny. Whoops, went a little big on that stroke. All right, I like the lime green on there. Now it's time to wash my brush, wipe off the water, touch the towel, and pick up some yellow. So I'm picking up some yellow, and I'm going to go right back to exactly where I just did with the lime green, but not quite as much as the lime green. I want the yellow to be more of an accent. So I'm going to come in here with a little yellow now, not as much as the lime green. And it will mix beautifully with that wet lime green. See it popping now? If you do accidentally lose all the lime green, go back and put a little bit of lime green right in. It won't hurt. So right here, I feel like I lost some lime green, so I'm going to come back in with a little bit of lime green right on top and just pull it in, making sure I don't lose that uh, the darks down at the bottom there. Awesome. All right. I love the leaves. They look good. 
So now we're gonna move on, wash the brush. Oh, you should pause your video and finish your leaves. This is a good time to pause. And now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tap in these cute little white, um, I call them little like uh, triangles, but in the center of each of your little pineapples, right in the orange and red area, you're just gonna come like a little, um, a little curved triangle, super soft, little curve. And that's very bright on that, very bright white. So if you wanna add a little yellow to the white, let's see if that softens it. Yeah, that softens it just a little. Not too much yellow, but enough to make it so that that white isn't just so stark. So before when I was telling you guys, if you wanna make this in different colors, um, what I suggest you do is incorporate your background colors like pick one or two of them to go that are also in your pineapple because it really helps this painting to to kind of flow to the eye when you're looking at it So a couple of these, I want to go back now and put a little yellow on that white, just a tap. So, uh, or maybe even under that white little triangle. And this one, I feel like I lost the orange. So I'm going to come in and give it a little bit more orange. And now's the time that you can just kind of adjust your little sections of your pineapple. And, um, I'm gonna take a little bit of orange and yellow, orange and yellow, so it's like a real light orange. And I'm gonna put just a little color here and there on one or two of the leaves, just to kind of spice up those leaves. I think it looks pretty. We have a pineapple. So mine is more whimsical this time. I made curvy lines. You guys can straighten them out if you want. If you want to go more of the straighter X's, your choice. You can add the color to the leaves or not, just the yellow and lime green. But the most important thing is that you guys have fun and enjoy yourselves. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing your pictures. Let me know how your pineapple came out. And thanks for painting with us. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.